Hey guys, I'm gonna go for a proper trail run here in a minute. Um, I've been doing some foot mobility work and for the first time in a long time, it's actually, my Achilles has actually started to get a little bit better. And I'm kind of confident at this point that it's gonna continue improving, um, which is why I'm gonna sign up for the Sean O'Brien 100K pretty soon. So that is the next goal. I'm gonna treat this like anything else with obsession and um, stubbornness and uh, gonna see if we can requalify for Western States at Sean O'Brien. I have a DNS there from when I got the flu a couple years ago and a DNF last year. So this year, naturally, the goal is to go for the DQ. Um, that's just a joke. I'm gonna try to finish. Uh, I have a 2019 Western States qualifier from Western States, um, but I need a 2020 qualifier. So we'll try to do that to Sean O'Brien. And um, yeah. Well, I was in some serious traffic for a while, so I've uh, been sitting in the car for the last like 40 minutes. Hopefully it'll be better on the way back. Um, I always do my stretching at the trailhead because there's kind of no point in doing it uh, before and then sitting down for a long time. So I'm gonna get out and do that and then we'll get rolling. All right, just turned around at five miles, 1226 pace, had 1700 feet of altitude, so probably climbed at least 2000, and uh, headed back down now. kind of the crux of it, two miles from being done and all downhill except for a flat half mile view. Done, pretty tired. Um, yeah, longest run I've done in a long time, uh, hour and, 47 minutes, um, probably about 2,600 feet of vert. I don't know, I'll have to check. Um, but uh, 1038 pace, which is actually pretty good um, for that kind of terrain. And uh, that's actually, it's actually pretty similar to, I think the Sean O'Brien course. It's super steep, but um, mostly runnable and a lot of fire roads and that sort of thing. Um, also, somebody up there recognized me from this channel. Um, I believe it was, Travis. I'm so sorry if I got your name wrong. Uh, but thanks for saying hi. That's always a lot of fun and it's nice to know that I'm not just talking into an empty void when I do these videos. So, Whew. Oh, all right. I'm tired, um, but that actually felt pretty good. You know, the Achilles hurts, but uh, not as bad as it has in the past. I feel like um, it's definitely getting better. A PSA real quick. Um, you are supposed to eat food pretty much immediately after you run, like a little bit, and then a big meal later. And uh, if you're driving to the trailheads, that means that you need to bring food with you for the end of the run, otherwise you're gonna go 30 minutes without eating anything. And I forget every time, so don't do that if you're you. Another thing that you're supposed to make sure of is that you are not ever waking up hungry, because if you're waking up hungry then that means that you didn't have enough fuel to repair um, all the damaged tissue from from training the past. This morning, I I think I think my hunger woke me up. Uh, I was trying to sleep in a little bit, and I woke up earlier because I was so hungry, and uh, went to the kitchen and ate like some peanut butter or something. But um, yeah, so we're gonna try and stay on top of that. That's very important. Uh, I'm gonna go home and probably eat some quinoa, and uh, yeah. So that's that. 
as far as the future goes, I think I will put my name in for Sean O'Brien today and uh, make that the next goal. Uh, might do a tune-up race, maybe Red Rock 40, which is kind of local in December, but I don't know yet. Um, I need a qualifier for Western States for next year, and I've kind of had a weird couple of weeks where, well, actually a couple of months where I was just uncertain about the future and, and how my body was going to hold up, and I'm finally at the point where I feel like I don't have to be afraid um, to focus on something and, and make it a priority in my life, uh, which, whereas before, I was just kind of afraid of building up and then getting shot down by injury and... Um, yeah, it's been hard, but uh, definitely getting to a point where I can sort of return to my obsession and make this make this kind of a, a big thing. And I'm, I'm just repeating myself right now um, because I'm tired and my brain's not working properly. But yeah, that's what's happening. I appreciate everyone who watches, especially Travis. Thanks for saying hi, and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.